Hi, I'm Sarah Von Pilaro of Flower Empowered, and I'm the Whole Foods Market Flower Chef. Today I'm gonna to focus on one type of flower, mums. I love mums because they last forever, they come in beautiful colors and textures, and they're a great bargain. The ones we have here at Whole Foods are my absolute favorite because they're whole trade, which means you can feel good about your purchase and know that it's helping communities. So what I did is I chose one big mixed bundle of mums, and I'll show you. It's got three varieties in it, okay? One that's called Button, and this green one happens to be called Kermit, which is just a sweet little note there about this one, which you see why when you look at the color. Um, another variety that's called Daisy, and you can see it looks kind of like a daisy. And then another one that's just called Cushion. And this one's actually kind of closed up here, but it's gonna open beautifully in the vase. So I have those three types mixed here in my bouquet. And then I have one type of greenery, which is also a whole trade. And um, it's gardenia foliage, which is just nice and green and beautiful. And with these two bunches, I'm gonna see how many vases I can fill up, all right? So my thought here today is that I had a lot of small sort of mini vases and it'd be fun to make little arrangements possibly to give as gifts for back to school times and teachers and other people um, or just to spread them throughout your home. So what I did was get a ton of the little vases and then I took tea leaves and just curled them up inside the vase and I snipped off the bottom here and I'll just curl my hand this is gonna hide the stems and just make a kind of a little cool look going on. And you can get the tea leaves either in the mix um, tropical bundles in floral, or you can also buy a tropical plant and just cut from it at home. So I've got them here, and what I'll do is break down my gardenia foliage and then my mums, and then I'll start arranging. So you'll see I'm, what I do to break this down because it's a tall piece and it needs to go in a short base, is just to go in and trim it into about mm, three pieces, like this. And you can imagine how many I'm gonna get from this one bunch. I'm gonna do something similar with the mums, so you can watch this here. I'm just gonna cut off all the lateral pieces and save them so I can spread around this one stem in my bases. And I think I might be, able to fill, might be able to fill up all the ones I have here on the table, we'll see. I do the exact same thing with the other varieties and then I start arranging. So let me do that and you can watch and see how many I do. All right, I've got everything broken down and I'm gonna show you how to make one arrangement and then I'll be off trying to fill all these bases. So I'm gonna take some of my gardenia foliage and you'll see, because I split it into small pieces, it fits right in. Actually, that might, well, I'll do one more piece in there. Just tuck it right down into my vase. Then I'll start grabbing a few mums, and I'm thinking I'll do a few of the different colors in each one. So I've got some of those daisies, I'll get some of the cushions, and remember, these guys are gonna open up, so don't worry about that. That's one other great thing about mums, they open up over time. And I'll just stick them in, might spread a little pop of purple in between there, get one of my Kermits. And sometimes I'll retrim as I go if I see they're too long. That's about it. All right, I've got one down. Let's see how fast I can do the rest. Well, that took me a few minutes, but not bad when you consider I now have eight arrangements. And I started with, with just one bunch of mums and one bunch of gardenia foliage. So I think that's pretty cool. I know I can think of a few people to give these to and some places to put them in my house. And you may have already figured this out, but the same idea here of making a little arrangement and starting with the greens and then the flowers, 
you can use this to make centerpieces for you know a small family event you might have at your home like a shower or a birthday party so just think about that and um, know that you can get a lot from a little and please consider mums they're certainly my favorite and i think you'll enjoy them too thanks so much for watching